This video illustrates some very common modifications you will want to make to the numeric fields in a pivot table. These include number formatting, summarizing functions, and the way the results are displayed. As with many pivot table options, or with Excel options in general, Microsoft provides several ways to make the required modifications, and you can choose the method you prefer. I will again use the online purchase data set for illustration. I have already created a basic pivot table. It shows sums of totals spent broken down by customer region and customer gender. There are two obvious changes you might want to make, the number formatting and the summarizing function, which is now the default sum function. For number formatting, you might be inclined to select the numeric cells and change the formatting in the usual Excel way. However, this isn't a good idea. If you move fields around or add new fields to the pivot table, the number formatting won't stick. The better way is to right click any number and choose number format from the pivot table shortcut menu. I will change the format to currency with no decimals. Then if I add fields or move fields around, the formatting will stick. If you want to change the summarizing function, you can also do so by right-clicking any number in the pivot table and choosing the Summarize Values By item. This provides a list of ways to summarize. For illustration, I will choose Average. Then, for example, the pivot table shows the average amount spent in all Midwest purchases by males is about $657. That is, if you averaged all of the total spent values in the original data set, but only for Midwest and male rows, you would get about $657. There is one other item in the right-click shortcut menu I want to mention, the Show Values As item. This lets you display the results in a wide variety of ways. In fact, there are so many options that I will save a discussion of them for a separate video. If you prefer one-stop shopping, you can change all of the settings just discussed in a single Value Field Settings dialog box. You can get to this by right-clicking from the Pivot Table Tools Analyze ribbon, or even from the drop-down in the Values box. For the latter, I'll hide the fields list so you can see it. Here is the Value Field Settings dialog box for total spent. You can change the label for the field, that is, the label that appears in the Pivot Table report, you can change the number format. You can change the summarizing function. And you can change the way the values are displayed. All from a single dialog box. Note that this dialog box provides more summarizing functions than by right clicking. The options now include counting numbers or calculating standard deviations or variances of either the population or sample types. You probably won't use these options often, if at all, but they are available. In summary, because you will make the modifications discussed in this video so often, just remember that you can either right-click numbers in the pivot table to get a shortcut menu with the options you need, or you can change a number of settings all at once from the Values Field Settings dialog box.